Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm very excited about this unboxing today. I ordered my plants from Coco Ranch and these are plants from Florida. It was shipped on Sunday, today is Thursday. So I'm very excited to see how they did in the mail. Currently it is winter so I made sure to order a heat pack. So anyway, I just need to get into it. I'm very excited and anxious to see if they survived the trip. I'm sure they did. In my previous unboxing video, I asked you guys if you order plants in the winter and a lot of you said you did. Some of you said you wait till spring or I guess some nurseries or people won't even send during the winter if you live in a really cold climate. Like I think someone from Wisconsin said that people won't sell, um, send them things in the winter, which I guess is understandable. But right away, when I open the box, I see my heat pack on top, which is good to see. And this is how it's packaged. Oh my God, I'm so excited. All right, so we got packing peanuts, which is a mess, but oh my God, this plant looks big. Okay. So she has some bubble wrap that she wrapped this plant in. And I actually do have this specific Hoya in my collection already, but I just wanted to get a larger one. It looks a lot different than mine though, which is kind of interesting. The leaves are darker. And there is a little bit of dirt that's falling, but that's normal. Oh, wow. Yeah, this looks different. This is very interesting because I'm pretty sure I ordered my other one from her, but it could have been from a different person. It is beautiful, but it definitely looks a little different. I'll have to show you to compare, but this is Hoya Sweet Scent. And the leaves are absolutely beautiful. They're very thick and it looks like it's in great condition. It's only a little bit cool to the touch, so it, I don't think it got cold or anything. This is what it looks like up close. A really beautiful plant but I'll have to show you I'll have to show you so I can um, compare the two because this looks like a different Hoya to me than the one I already have um, which is very interesting I've experienced this before when I have ordered the same Hoya twice from maybe different people typically and the plant looks different so maybe one of the sellers labeled their plants incorrectly or maybe it's just like there could be slight differences in the same type of plant. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll bring that over in just a moment to show you how different they look. Cause I do have a Hoya Sweet scent that's a little smaller, but it's really cute. And I love how succulent and thick the leaves are. This is actually a little thinner compared to my other um, Hoya Sweet scent. The one that I already have is really thick and the leaves are lighter, but it's still beautiful. I'm just kind of surprised that it looks so different but I do trust that this is the plant that I ordered. Have you guys noticed that? If you've ordered the same plant twice, um, have you noticed differences? Because I definitely have. All right, so we're gonna get the second one out of here. I'm really excited about this. I've never seen this plant in person. Oh my God, I'm making a mess. Packing peanuts are the worst. Okay. So this is what the second one looks like. It's a lot smaller. Um, and it's packaged nicely. It is a little bit messy, but that's okay. We'll just vacuum. I'm always vacuuming because of my dogs. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. Wow, this has some baby leaves on it. Oh, it's so cute. So this guy, I forget the name. I can get the tape off of it. So this guy is Hoya Incrasata Albo Mar Marginita. It is absolutely beautiful. The leaves have a variegation on the edges and it's really beautiful. It's kind of hard to show you. So just by feeling this Hoya, the leaves are very delicate and they're kind of curved. So we did have one casualty. There's a little break in this leaf right here, but I really like this tiny leaf that's variegated. It's so cute. So beautiful. So I'm really not surprised that one of the leaves did break in transit, 
but it has little baby leaves that are growing as well. Right there, you can see the two baby leaves towards the center, right there. And I've never seen this Hoya in the stores before. It's really beautiful. I love how all the variegation looks different on every leaf. And it looks like she did put some um, wet paper towel on the soil to try to keep some of the soil in. So I just wanted to change perspective for a moment and um, show you what this plant looks like up close. So this is Hoya Sweet Scent. And the leaves are very thick and fleshy, like I mentioned before. And I actually wanna show you what it looks like compared to the sweet scent that I already have. I'm almost positive I got my first Hoya Sweet Scent from Susan, but um, I'm not sure now because it looks quite different. This one even has like a veining in the leaves that I don't really notice in the one that I currently own. This is the Hoya Sweet Scent that I already had in my collection and you can see that the leaves are a lot lighter and they were always that color. So I don't know if this is like a different variety. And this is what the two plants look like side by side. So the shapes of the leaves look slightly different, I think, but I don't know, maybe this one is just lighter because it doesn't get as much light in my house, but it's always it really always has been a really light green. And the leaves on this guy do feel a little more thin compared to these. These are super thick leaves. So I'm not sure if these are the same plant. What do you guys think? Do you think they're different varieties of Hoya Sweet Scent? Or maybe one of the sellers labeled their plants wrong, but I am almost positive I ordered both of these plants from Susan. But nonetheless, I am really happy about the order. I think it's kind of cool actually that they look slightly different. So I don't feel like I have a duplicate plant. Like they're not exactly the same. It's kind of cool to have a slight variety. And I'm interested to see what they look like when they go into bloom. And then this is my other plant that I ordered, the Incrassula albo margarita or something like that. But the variegation's really pretty. I'm not sure how well that showed up on camera before. It's definitely a very delicate plant, so I'm not surprised that this leaf unfortunately did break, but it's okay. It, and it was solid, so it's not like it was a really beautiful variegated leaf. Let's see, this one's also variegated really pretty and then it has this is a really beautiful leaf this tiny one I love how it's half white and half green and then there is some new growth right there but I honestly don't think that will live I've had many plants shipped through the mail and the new growth always falls off but we'll see but anyway guys I would recommend ordering from Coco Ranch I have had a lot of great luck ordering from her these plants do look like they're in great condition they look exactly like the photo they're just beautiful the Susan really takes great care of her Hoya I would actually love to get a tour of her Hoya collection. So I'm thinking if I ever go to Florida, I'm gonna reach out to some of these sellers like Susan and Jan and see if they will let me film them in their um, gardens and just to explore their Hoyas that they grow outside in Florida. I think that'd be a really fun video. So maybe I'll actually plan that sometime, reach out to them and possibly do that this year. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> And then we have the dogs over here. They they want to say hi, Kona. Coco, Coco, come here. Do you like plant mail, Kona? <gasps> do you like plant mail? Chloe, are you, do you like plant mail too? Do you guys like the mailman or do you bark at her? <laughs> yeah, you're not a big fan of her? All right guys, I hope you enjoyed my plant unboxing. If you made it this far in the video, um, just leave like a dog emoji in the comment section so that I know that you saw the girls. And stay tuned for my next video because I ordered a plant from the UK. It's been in the mail for 10 days and there's no heat pack, so it could be a total plant fail. But you guys will have to find out and I'll have to find out too, I don't know what's gonna happen when I open up the box. I would love it if you liked the video, if you did enjoy it, and hey, if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down, <laughs> whatever the case may be, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I hope to see you in my next video. Have a great day, bye.